Since we're adding the let form to curly, we need to update our parser to convert a let s expression to a let e variant of exp. And so I'm showing you the s expression notation one more time here. Um, an exp is either any of the other things that we've had before, or it's a list-like s expression that starts with a let symbol and so on. We can easily match this general pattern by using s expression match um, and symbol, and we have to use any and any as usual in place of x because we will recur with the parser to make sure those are expressions. And then what we have to do to do that recursion is pull out this piece and pull out this piece and pull out the symbol to form a let e. That turns out to be a little complicated. It's almost the most complicated form we'll have to parse this semester, so I'll step through it a little bit slowly. S stands for the whole S expression that matches this pattern. So it, that is list-like, since it matches the pattern. So we can convert it to a list of S expressions, and then we can take the second S expression, and that gives us this middle piece here. That gives us an S expression that is symbol with X in square brackets, and then in curly brackets as well. Right? They're not really curly brackets and square brackets, that's just how we write it, of course. They're just S expression list-like things. We're still trying to get the symbol in X, so let's get rid of that first layer of curly braces. That is done by converting that to an, a list of s expressions and then taking the first of those. So then we have an s expression that just has symbol and exp inside of it. We can then turn that into a list of s expressions and I'm going to bind the result to bs. So converting this list-like s expression to a list of s expressions gives us a list with a symbol and an expression in it. And bs stands for binding pieces. Um, so we have the two pieces now. We need to pull out the first and the second of this. So by taking the first bs, we get the binding symbol as an s expression. We get the right-hand side as an s expression by taking the second. And meanwhile, we do something sim simpler to get the body expression. That's just taking the whole s, converting it to s expression list, and taking the third part out. That gives us this any expression. So we've got the body s expression, the right-hand side x expression, and we have the name as a symbol a symbol-like S expression. We need to convert that to a symbol with X, X, arrow, symbol. Now we have the three pieces we want. If we parse these two expressions, we can put them into a let E. So that's how we get out the binding name, the right-hand side parsed, and the body parsed. When we drop this into our full parser, it looks like this. We have this let case mixed in with all the other cases. We have some examples here of uh, parsing uh, a let format.